Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to manage the listing page settings in the VP Rentals team. In this video you will learn how to manage the options available for the listing page. I will use this listing page as example to show the settings available. First I will go in Team Options. Here you can set the options that you need for the listing page. So I will go to VP Rentals options. I will go to listing page and here you will find the settings available for the listing page. I will start with the first one. You will have listing page design type. You have five types available. Each of them will have a different design. I will quickly show the design for each type. This is type one. You'll have a small slider and the owner details will be displayed in sidebar. I will select type two. Here you will have the featured image of the listing in the page header and the rest of the images can be seen in this gallery here and the owner details will be displayed here. I will save type 3. You will see the images in slider in the page header and the owner details will be displayed the same as in type 2. I will save type 4. The gallery will be different. You will have the featured image here and the rest of the images here. I will save type 5. The images will show like this and the rest of the details will be the same. Going back to team options, next you'll have the option to show contact form instead of booking form. Currently in the listing page you have the booking form. Here you can select dates, guest and the booking request will be sent to the owner. But if you change this option and set it to yes, then instead of the booking form you will have a contact form. On refresh you will see this form that has the options to choose check-in, check-out and guest and here a message can be written. By pressing send message an email will be sent to the owner but no booking request will be registered. I will switch to the booking form and I will show the next options. Next you will have show booking terms checkbox. By enabling this option in front end in the booking form you will have a consent option. You will have this checkbox and the text I agree to the terms and conditions. Going back to team options here you have the option to add a link for the terms and condition page and the guest will be redirected to that page when the guest will click I agree to the terms and conditions. Next you will have label for booking terms page applies to all listings on site. You will have this text that you can change. I will make a quick change to show. I will save the change made and in the listing page you will have the new text that I just added. Going back to team options, next you will have hide map location and address for unbooked properties. If set to yes, you will have this circle near the listing location. Also in address section you will have this text. Exact location information is provided after a booking is confirmed. So the pin and the exact address will show after the guest will have a confirmed booking for this listing. Going back to team options, the last option in the page is show minimum nights in the calendar. I will show in the listing page the calendar. This is the one. This property has three minimum nights set and if this option is enabled I will refresh the page to see the change. In the calendar you will see that the required minimum time is three nights here. Going back to team options I am done with the listing page settings. Next you will have the listing page layout manager. In this section you can disable listing page settings sections and change the sections order. For the settings here to apply you will need to enable the layout manager. I will save changes. You can see that now all sections are enabled. In the listing page you will have duplicate elements like gallery, description, map owner and next I will show how each option here will affect the listing page. You'll have this option hide default description section. I will set it to yes. This means that the default section will not show. So now I have these two description sections. On refresh, the one above the slider is hidden. Going back to team options, if you want to disable the second description as well, you will need to move description tab from the enabled column to the disabled one. I will save changes. Now the description section is fully disabled in the listing page. Going back to team options, I will enable back the default section and I will leave it like this. Next you'll have hide default owner section. I will set it to yes. I will refresh the page. Now you will have 
the owner details here and the section below the page content was removed. Going back, if you want to keep the owner section that is played below the content, you will need to set the option to no and move the owner section here in the disabled section. I will save changes and now on refresh the owner section in the page content will not show and the owner details will show here. Going further to the next section you will have hide default map section. I will set it to yes. Here you have a map but since you cannot have two maps in the page the first one will show well and the second one will show like this. I will refresh the page to see the change that I just made and now only the map here will show and the one here is disabled. I will go back to team options and I will set to show default map section and I will disable this one. I will save changes and on refresh you will see the map here and the one from the page content was removed. Going back you have a high default similar listing section. I will set it to yes. Now you have a similar section above the owner and one below. On refresh you will see the change that I just made and the section that was displayed below the map is now removed and only this one is visible. I will set it to no and I will disable the similar listings from here as well. Now on refresh the similar listings in the page content was removed and I have the section displayed at the end of the page. These are the sections that are duplicate and you need to choose to disable it from the yes no options or from the layout manager here. Next you'll have the rest of these sections that you can disable by moving them in the disabled section. I will show, so I will go back, I will disable gallery, I will disable listing details and terms and conditions. I will save changes and now on refresh the gallery will not show anymore and I do not have the details and terms and conditions section. Also here you can change the sections order. I will show, I will move the address First in the page I will save changes and now instead of price on refresh I will have the address first. In this section you also have the option to use sticky sidebar on listing page. You can enable or disable this option. I am done with the listing page layout manager section as well. I will go to the next section which is the listing icon area design. The icon area design is this section here. By default you will have these four fields and if you want other fields you need to enable this option. I will save changes and here you need to choose the new fields that you want to display. You need to choose the fields from this drop down. I will select random new fields. I will set here city, area, I will select bedroom, bathrooms and for the last field I will select minimum days. I will save the changes. Now on front end the default fields will not show anymore and you will have the values of the fields that I just selected. You will also have the option to add a label, an image or an icon. You need to choose one of these three options. For the first field I will add here a label. For the second one I will select a random icon. For bedrooms I will select an icon as well and for bathrooms. And for the last one I will add an image. For that I will go to media. Here you can upload any image that you want. And to add it in team options you will need to copy the image link. I will choose an existing image. I will select an SVG icon. This is the link that you need to copy. I will paste it here and I will save changes. Now on refresh you will see the label that I typed. You will see the icons and the SVG icon that I added as image. Going back to team options, here you will have design options for the font, the image and the icons that you select. Here you can change font settings for the labels, you can change font family, weight and other settings. Here you can change the image or icon size, you can change the icon's color, for example, I will choose blue and this color will apply only for the icons. On refresh, you will see the color that I set in team options. Also, you will have options to align. You can set left. You also have the option to set the icon or image position and you can add a value for a gap between the fields selected. I will save these changes and I will show how they apply. You can see that the icon's position was changed. I will leave 
both options set to left and I am done with this section as well. Next I will go to disclaimer section. Here you can add a text that will be displayed in the listing page. I will add a random text to show how this works by adding this in the text on front end the listing address will be displayed and by adding this one the listing id will be displayed i will show i will save changes and now on refresh if you scroll down at the end of the page you will see the text that i just added and instead of the parameters that i added you will see the address and the listing id going back to team options the last section will be the similar listing one here you can select the number of similar listings that will show in the section currently it is set to three but you can set any number that you want here you can select the category this means that in each listing page you will have three results in similar listings that will have the same action category and you also have the option to order the similar listings you can choose one of the available options I will save the changes and now on refresh I will see three listings that have the same action category all these three listings have entire home as action category and they are ordered by price from low to high exactly how I set it in team options these are the settings available for the listing page I hope that you enjoyed this video Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.